Hello everyone, this is uh, Dr. Swami Haladi from Altec. Uh, today I would like to speak to you briefly on the what it means to have peer-reviewed research for a product or technology that is coming into the market. Let us say for example Microsoft which is the leading uh, product for Altec. I think I would like to go through what actually is the peer review means, why the peer review research is needed and how the peer review program has been done and finally I would like to differentiate what it means to have a full peer reviewed paper or suggest an abstract. The peer review is the process of subjecting author's work to the scrutiny of some experts in the field before it is actually being published in a journal. And those experts are generally called as reviewers or referees. Then the next question is actually why do we need this peer review process? The peer review is very important for a few reasons. Number one is it helps in the improving the standard of science. It helps in uh, Im improving the performance of the scientists. It helps in improving the credibility of the work you have done. And finally, the most important is it helps in preventing the transfer or the dissemination of irrelevant findings or unwarranted claims. I think those are the key points why do we need the peer review research. And in terms of how it is done, it is generally the author will submit the paper to the journal, the editor will send them forward them to the reviewers. After getting the comments from the reviewer along with his own comments, you will get back to the author whether that work is suitable for publication in the journal or not. That is how it is generally done for a full paper, that is a full paper with all the details. And then what about the abstracts published? You know most of the scientific organizations conduct their annual conferences or symposia. During that they invite the scientists to submit their uh, abstract for a poster or a oral presentation. And after that usually those abstracts will end up as a in one of their supplements in the journal. And the, now the question is how do you differentiate whether you got your referencing work from a full paper versus just an abstract. And I think that is very important to perform because in a full paper uh, there is a more information available for the reviewers to do the process as well as there will be two or three reviewers to or take the uh, process along. Whereas in an abstract it is usually about 350, 300 words within that period of time or within that uh, uh, space available it is very difficult for the reviewers to assess the quality of this research. So how do you know whether it is from an abstract or a full paper? Uh, generally if it is from an abstract they should provide a supplement information after the issue. They will say for example in the issue number 87 and in the bracket they will write it is a supplement 1 or 2 and that is how you differentiate an abstract work from a full paper. So to finally to conclude I think it is very important to have a full peer reviewed research paper rather than just an abstract and it is very important to differentiate whether it is just an abstract or a peer reviewed full paper so that we can provide the, the necessary credibility to that work. With that thank you very much for listening this.